Welcome everyone, it's Fate vs. Dracomar. It's time for the Grand Finals of Clan vs. Clan. In this episode, we are doing the absolute final gauntlet to try to win Clan vs. Clan. We are currently ahead by a small amount, but it can change any moment. Because I've got to... I've literally got to go ham and cheese here. It's the only way. It is literally the only way. Don't care, we've got to try for it. We've got to try. And at this point, I've literally got nothing to lose. At this point, I'm only doing this for the daily. Literally just for the daily quest, because I... Like, literally, the daily quest. Green artifact to level 12. I have to do speeder for that. What artifact. Wait till it's level 12. Literally, I want that shard just to see if I can hash something from it that might help me. At this point, literally, we're at that. We're at that point. We got an epic! Who is it? Corpse Collector. Interesting. I like it. Helps give the buffer. So yeah. We were uh, leveling some of these, um, so, remember how I said we're going to risk it all? I wasn't lying. I'm a man of my word. I'm going to risk it all. I'm going to show both of my teams going to do the Ice Golem completely seriously and then I'm going to try my absolute hardest to try to level those champs. Uh, it's literally... get through this to try to see if I can prove myself. That's the to do spider. I really, I really 
this. Cause I have got I've got a try my absolute hardest. Try to win this. I mean I'll take a corpse collector. I've never had one before. It's a non do I don't know what she does or if she's insane. We'll have to find out later. Cause I have no idea. I know she's not probably top tier, otherwise everyone would be raving about the champ. But this is literally the final gauntlet. The final gauntlet. I have to stay up till literally the absolute graveyard shift. I'm gonna have to take breaks from video, like, like one here and one over there, because literally I'm not gonna be able to film the entire time, because it's literally that. It's literally that hard to do this. I'll take all my concentration to stay awake. I might have to do some league and throw auto battles on it, or just like pump music, pump really epic music. At this point, I don't even have time for the auto battle. I literally have to just do it manual. Like a real man and try to see if I can beat it all. Oh, can I win? Can this be the day? And can we, uh. That's the real question. I'll even try to do the other leveling because I have to try. Everything I've got, I've got to do faction wars. I've got to do the whole nine yards. This is going to be one of the hardest, if not the hardest things to do. Is literally to do this until 4 a.m. Literally. Facing terrible bosses and a whole bunch of crazy shit. Okay. Now we're gonna want to take this slow. Because this guy is extremely dangerous. We want to get burns on each of them. Getting those uh, buffs up because I am very concerned about him because you've seen him. You've seen what he can do. I, I don't need to necessarily remind you on how dangerous this guy actually is. Oh, and yeah, I do not need to remind you. I do not need to remind you why. I hope you see why. Is this this guy is dangerous? Really dangerous. If I trigger so much is one 
one wrong move on this guy and I'm dead. One wrong move. I swear, if I make one wrong move here, I'm dead. Oh. This is so freaking scary. Um, let's do that. And, Cause this guy, you don't wanna, you do not wanna mess this guy up. Cause he, he will kick your butt. Seriously. He's not joking or kidding around. He is deadly serious. Now, if I can beat him, that'd be great. But there's a reason I'm not trying to provoke him until maybe the last second. In fact, I'm just going to avoid doing that entirely. The number one thing I don't need him to do is one retribution proc, and I'm dead. So that's why I really don't want to do that. Unless absolutely necessary. Because that, that retribution proc hurts. I'm going to make that clear. That retribution proc's gonna hurt. Okay. Because I, I swear to God, at any moment, he can just blow you sky high. And that's what, that's what makes this boss really frightening. Is that you do not know if and when he's going to do it. But you know he's gonna do it, and he, you know that that one proc could be the end of life as you know it. See, that's, that's the whole fear factor thing. And that is a really good piece for Drexthar. See, I told you I could do it. told you. Okay. Now. Let's check on advanced quests. Do the arena on the other account where I have Deegan. Ugh. As I swear to God. I swear to God, man. This is the this is the true finale. The true finale of this. I don't I don't think I want to put Deacon on, on the ice golem, because I don't he messed it up before. Okay. Let's give it a go. What are we going to get? Another rare for the Rosin Fusion rare. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment. But. Um, you can't always get good stuff from ancients and that's why okay so gonna have to do faction wars 
We're going to want to refresh this. Um, why not? Let's give it a whirl. Seems to be the type of team whereby we need more speed to make it work, it seems. First things first, we gotta take out the um, Okay, so what I'm going to try is I'm going to go like this. We're going to put Katoon there, who has more speed, then compress, flow that, boom shakalaka. How was that? Let's do it again. Huh. See, we got the speed, boost, turn meter compression, that, provoke, do not know why you would hit that, but hey. See the, the, the power of this turn meter control? This is what you want in Arena. This is a really good team to deal with speed issues, you know? Boom. Good for harvesting these bars, and trust me, you want these bars. Trust me, you want these bars. Let's give it a go. Another team without the speed, man. Is this supposed to be like some kind of resistance gauntlet? Yep, that's what it seems like to me. That's what it seems like to me. Got their Cleopterix. We got them. We're on a roll now. Although some of these are really obscenely difficult, so I would uh, prefer to avoid them. Uh, where are we at? Twelve Crypt Keys and Faction Wars. Let's do it. What we got for undeads? We beat the undead thing yet? Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I'm telling you, Deacon and High Katoon Insanity. Like those two? You want to 
I get a provoke here. Warning screech. I don't want to go for that. Increase attack here. Go in for the whack. Uh, decrease accuracy. Oh, that's that's delicious. Wait, what? Okay, that's not fair. I still got you, even though you're a cheating scumbag. Even though you're a cheating scumbag, I still got you. Might as well do Dark Elf Wars as well. I finally killed that cheating scumbag. Hell yeah. Feels god tier to kill that cheating scumbag. Let's go. Yep. We're doing we're doing the faction wars, man, cuz I I definitely want to fix that. I mean, I could have done Kale, but as you saw, Deacon is so good. You know? Deacon plus High Katoon is absolutely insane for turn meter. You got the, the Katoon gets the initial speed boost, and then Deacon can instantly compress the turn meter afterwards. Good luck ever taking a turn after that. You won't. That, that does so much wonders at the lower levels. Especially against teams that like rely on that. Like, it's pretty dang sick. But we ain't done yet, because I still have to level food maybe. Because I'm. Can go and campaign. There's a whole bunch of places I can level more food for the next six star. As remember, we're not stopping with Deacon. We have to do more six stars. We really do. It's really hard to do this. And it aggrieves me to do this, but I have to continue to play on into the night. It's just how how Clan v Clan works. Because I literally have to cover everything, including another Ice Golem fight and everything. All the advanced quests into the Doom Tower if needed to get gems. A full nine yards and a, and a side of bacon. Um, another clan boss for the uh, advanced quest, maybe. Uh, Minotaur. Anything. Anything at all, man. Still can't believe I actually beat that cheating bastard. Finally. Man. Well, you know. In a way, Cold Heart is kind of like Beacon. You see anyone see that damage? You know what that means, right? We're gonna go further in the Doom Tower. Let's get it.
But before we do that, we got to do some ice golem. And no, you did not miss here or miss see that. I have been doing a lot of ice golem. This is my most successful team of ice golem. Now, it may not have Deacon in it, but there's a reason for that. It's because I have yet to work out a way to get Deacon to survive this. Or to really contribute to surviving in this env environment. Because surviving in here is wickedly hard to do. And I want to make that abundantly clear. Um, also abundantly clear that I need more silver for the banner. So there's that. I'm doing the five keys in the Doom Tower because I want I want that energy fuel from the advanced quest. Because tonight I literally need it. I literally need everything I can get. Because it's, it's, it's a time of need. That's why I also saved up all those gems in case I need to tap into a little bit of the gems. Because, you know. Now there's a reason that you want to do this because this is on times two. And I get a lot of uh, stuff from it. Like 200... 200 points from this alone. And then, of course... What do I want to do for more points here? Probably leveling champs. That's what I'm thinking, right? Because I need to get another, I need to get another rank six. There's just no way around it. So I can try to get another four. Like it's down to the wire, kinda. It really is. Because I don't think I can make another six star before the tournament's out. Even then. It's mainly the raising of the food for the six star that gives the big bucks. <sighs> now the reason this wave is slow, it's a slow but consistent run is what this is. It's slow, but if you win it, you get a consistent 200 points. Now the reason that good old uh, Taragi is in here is he gives a resistance aura. Now, the Resistance Aura allows me to do some pretty dank stuff. So... Generally... Yeah, and Taragi also provides poison. So, the poison... I mean, I could put... Why does he have to resist it all? It's still scary as sin. There we go. I'll put burn on other stuff. Ooh. You do not want to leave that on your champs. You want to immediately cleanse that. Because if you do not, if you leave that on there, they will muck you up. 